Good evening, good evening, pro wrestling fans from all over the world of all shapes and sizes. Welcome to another Pro Wrestling Talk video brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the Tube. I'm your host, Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram. So, it's double header preview time for this video. Going to be previewing two upcoming events for this weekend. We're going to focus on TNA and WWE. So, going to start off with my preview of TNA against all odds. And then, going to switch gears to WWE and preview the upcoming Clash at the Castle Scotland. So, yeah, two big upcoming events for this weekend. Uh, this Father's Day weekend. Uh, so, first off, a preemptive Happy Father's Day to all the dads, grandfathers, uncles, great-grandfathers, just all of the male figures out there. Uh, thank you for all that you do, um, and keep up the excellent work. Um, even to uh, shout out to my dad. Happy Father's Day to my dad. Um, anyway, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get started with TNA Against All Odds. So, this year's Against All Odds will take place at the, um, I think it's the uh, Cicero, Cicero Stadium. Um, do forgive me if I butcher that and uh, correct me as well. Cicero Stadium in Chicago, Illinois. <clears throat> and that is tomorrow, uh, June June 14th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we got a good handful of matches on here. Got a couple of got a couple of title matches as well. As a matter of fact, we got five title matches. So um and it looks like we have two pre-show matches as well. So Let's go ahead and let me get my graphics up and let's let's go ahead and get into this. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's see. So the pre-show will be at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So just going ahead and giving that heads up. So all right, here we go. So pre-show matches. Let's go. First up, <clears throat> we have a singles match between Sammy Callahan and Jonathan Gresham. So, if I remember correctly, I don't believe Jonathan Gresham has lost a match since this gimmick change. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe... He has lost a match since the gimmick change. <clears throat> now, last time these two faced each other, of course, it was it was a while it was a while ago. Jonathan Gresham got the victory. So, hmm, hmm, honestly. I think Sammy Callahan should win. I think Sammy Callahan should win. Yeah. I think Sammy Callahan should win. Kind of get revenge. <clears throat> but don't be surprised if Jonathan Gresham ends up winning again. But yeah, I'm going to be rooting for Sammy Callahan. I, I think she should... He should at least get uh, get revenge. But that's just me. But I wouldn't be surprised if Jonathan Gresham won again. But I'm going Sammy Callahan. All right. And the last pre-show match, the countdown to Against All Odds, we actually got ourselves a title match. Check it out. Okay. We have... The TNA Knockouts World Tag Team Championships on the line. As the champions, uh, the team of Alicia Edwards and Masha Slamovich will defend the titles against the decorated 
team that has been very success successful. The Hex, made up of Allison K and Marty Bell. Now, personally, I would love for the Hex to win. Would love the Hex to win. I've met the Hex. Um, I've even danced bachata with Marty Bell. Of course, you know, her being, you know, from the Dominican Republic, the birthplace of bachata. Um, <sighs> Alicia Edwards and Masha Slamovich haven't had the tag titles that long. So, <clears throat> excuse me. As much as I would love the Hex to win, I think Alicia Edwards and Masha Slamovich will retain. I really do. I hope I'm wrong, but I think you get, you got to keep the titles on them. The system, each each member of the system has gold, so I think they gotta I think they gotta keep them keep that faction strong for just a little while longer. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna say Alicia Edwards, Masha Slamovich retain but I hope I'm wrong because I will be rooting for the hex okay now let's go into the main card shall we main card let's go all right singles match PCO versus Rich Swan and, of course, he's going to be accompanied by A.J. Francis, who is the current digital media champion. Hmm. You know, I have mixed feelings about this one because part of me feels like I could see A.J. Francis interfering to help Rich Swan get the victory. Like, to be honest, I think that's what's going to happen. I think perhaps, <clears throat> perhaps Rich Swan getting the, the official match victory, but PCO getting the last laugh. If that makes any sense. So, I think Rich, Rich Swan is going to have a lot of help in his corner with AJ Francis. And I believe he's going to help Rich Swan get the victory. And like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm wrong. I mean, it is PCO, but I felt like with this type of setup, you know, maybe giving Rich Swan and AJ Francis uh, a bit of an upper hand in the form of Rich winning the match officially. But like I said, I think PCO gets the last laugh. So, that's what that's what I'm gonna go with, but like I said, this is this is just a gamble. This is a gamble. <clears throat> All right, let's keep it going. Next up, let's see. Ah, here we go. Check it out. Next up, we got another singles match where we have Joe Hendry, who apparently will be accompanied by Ace Steel to take on Frankie Kazarian. Um, eh. uh, I guess I'll, I'll go Joe Hendry for the win. I mean, I'm not really that hyped about this match, to keep it honest with y'all. I mean, I like both individuals, but I don't know. Just something about this match. Just I'm not that hyped about this match, to be honest with y'all. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I'm not that hyped about this match. I'm really not. <clears throat> but maybe it'll be, maybe it'll be good. Who knows? We'll see. Maybe it'll be good, but... Anyway, yeah, 
That's that's all I can really say. Joe Hendry for the win, but I'm not really that invested in this match. Just keeping it real with y'all. Okay. Let's move on to the next match. Let's see. One second. Ah, here we go. Next match. Alrighty. We got ourselves a tag team match. Very interesting. <clears throat> we have the pairing of Mike Santana and Steve Macklin to take on the Rascals, Zachary Wentz, Trey McGill. Um, seems to be like Mike Santana's been on a roll since returning to TNA. Um, eh. While the Rascals may be the more, you know, the team that has the, the more most chemistry, eh, something tells me Mike Santana and Steve Macklin are probably going to win this match. So, I'm going to say Mike Santana, Steve Macklin. But, we'll see. Um, I think it'll be a very enjoyable match. But, yeah. Mike Santana, Steve Macklin. <clears throat> okay. Let's get into some championship matches, shall we? Alright, let's start off with the X Division title. All right, we have the X Division Championship on the line. The champ, Mustafa Ali, will defend against Trent Seven. Should be a good match. Should be a really good match. Um, I think it'll be back and forth. But if you ask me, I think this is a pretty easy pick. Gonna go with Mustafa Ali. To retain the X Division Championship. And honestly, I got a feeling he's going to hold this title for a good long while. <clears throat> maybe throughout the summer. Or who knows, maybe he loses it at Slammiversary, but I doubt it. I doubt it. But yeah, Mustafa Ali to retain the X Division Championship. Alright. Next up. Ah, here we go. Okay, we got the TNA World Tag Team Championships on the line. As the champions, the systems, Brian Myers and Eddie Edwards will defend the titles against the Nemeths of Nick and Ryan Nemeth. Okay. I kind of have mixed feelings about this one. I have mixed feelings about this one. Um, like I said, the system, very, very strong faction. Like I said, each member of the system has championship. But you got the Nemeths teaming up. To be honest with y'all, I could see this going either way, but mm. Mm. Oh man, this is tough. <clears throat> Cause honestly, this is the one title change that I could see actually happening out of all the rest of the title matches on this card. I'm going to take a gamble and say the Nemeths may be able to pull this off, but honestly, a big part of me feels like the system should still have the titles after this show. Just... They should have the gold just a little while longer before they start taking gold off of folks. <clears throat> so, yeah. I'll be chilling, cheering for the Nemeths, but I think the system will retain. I think they end up retaining. But if there's any title 
that I feel that could change hands is probably this one out of all the rest of them. So I'll just leave it at that. Okay. Next up. Oh, here we go. Next up, we have Jordan Grace's TNA Knockouts World Championship Open Challenge. Okay, let's let's talk. It was only just last weekend that she competed at NXT Battleground for the NXT Women's Championship against Roxanne Perez, which she did lose to her. Now she's back on her home turf with this Knockouts Championship Open Challenge. So, I am thinking one of three things could happen. I'm thinking one of three things could happen. One, I think it's very possible that Roxanne Perez could show up and accept the open challenge. Looking at it in a sense of, hey, you came to my turf, challenged for my title, I beat you, now I want a shot at your title on your home turf. That's what I could see happening. That's one thing I could see happening. We get Roxanne Perez <clears throat> accepting the open challenge and they have a rematch, this time for the Knockouts title at TNA against all odds. So that's one thing I could see happening. Number two, do you remember the tug of war during their match that Tatum Paxley and Ash by Elegance had? Y'all remember that? So I could see either Ash by Elegance or Tatum Paxley answering the challenge because those were the last two ladies that were involved. So Tatum Paxley, Ash by Elegance, I could see one, either of those two. And then ultimately, number three, I think it's just going to be somebody Somebody that we've never seen Jordan Grace take on. Very similar to how Roxanne, you know, had Jordan Grace picked, you know, surprised with her opponent. Because I believe that was the first time they had ever faced each other. So I think we could get the same with Jordan Grace and that somebody that she's never faced before, ever, will accept this open challenge. So... Those are the three scenarios that I could see happening with this. Either it's Roxanne Perez to return the favor, Ash by Elegance or Tatum Paxley due to their involvement, or three, somebody that Jordan Grace has never competed against, ever. I think one of those three things will happen. But at the end of the day, I do believe no matter what happens, Jordan Grace will still walk away TNA Knockouts World Champion. Okay? And then, finally, the main event of TNA Against All Odds comes down to the main title. The TNA World Championship. As the champion, Moose, representing the system, will defend against broken Matt Hardy. Okay. Here's the thing. So... What I was thinking about was, one, you know, a big part of me could see Moose retaining, of course, but another part of me 
could see Matt Hardy win, but with a little bit of help, if you know what I mean. So, word is, I believe that Jeff Hardy is a free agent, or is about to be a free agent. I don't know how soon, but I think very soon. I think he is a free agent. So, perhaps, perhaps he could show up as Brother Nero and potentially help Broken Matt Hardy, his brother, win the title off of Moose. I think that's like a 20% chance of happening. But the other 80%, Moose retaining. Moose retaining. So, just, just something I wanted to kind of throw in there with this. Because, you know, I'm keeping, I'm keeping an open mind about it. And I think... <clears throat> I think there will be a surprise or two that happens. I don't know what. <clears throat> but I think it'll be very interesting. So, yeah. Should be really good. Overall, pretty decent card. Pretty decent card. It'll be on TNA+. Plus. But, uh, yeah. Looking forward to checking it out. Should be good. Should be really good. Okay. Before we switch gears to WWE Clash at the Castle in Scotland, here's a quick word on the sponsor for this video, Game Beauty. Check them out. As you continue to enjoy content here at Blitzball Champ Gaming, be sure you take a moment to check out Game Beauty. Beauty inspired by gaming. Game Beauty brings to you video game related makeup and cosmetic products. You have products such as eyeshadow palettes, elemental pearl highlighters, eyeshadow brushes, liquid eyeliner pens by Akidaris, and even non-makeup products like graphic tees. They even have special collaboration makeup kits, such as this Persona 5 Heat Wave Brush Single, Metaverse Bundle, and even a Phantom Thieves Limited Edition Makeup Collection. Also remember that Game Beauty provides international shipping of $60 or more. And if you use the promo code BLITZBALLCHAMP, all in caps, you can get 10% off of your order. So be sure to use that to your advantage. Now, back to your regularly scheduled video. Enjoy, and thank you. Okay, we now switch gears to WWE with Clash at the Castle, Scotland, which will take place this Saturday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, June 15th. This will take place at the OVO Hydro, in Glasgow, Scotland. That's right, Glasgow, Scotland. Now, unless anything crazy happens between now and Saturday, which uh, Friday Night Smackdown is also taking place from Glasgow, Scotland, there's only five matches on this card. Only five on this card. So, I don't know if they're going to add a pre-show match. I don't think so, but there's only five matches on this card. So, I expect each match to get a good amount of time. But, hey, every match on this five-match card is a championship match. So, hey, can't go wrong with that. 
<clears throat> anyway, let's get started. Okay, first off, we got the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships on the line. Triple threat. Triple threat, triple threat. We have the champions, Bianca Belair and Jay Cargill, who will defend the titles against the team of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn and the team of Zoe Stark and Shayna Baszler. <clears throat> so first off, I expect the crowd to be very, very heavy behind the team of um, Alba Fire and Isla Dawn, being that they're both from Scotland. So I believe Isla is from Glasgow, Scotland, so she'll, she'll be right at home. She will be right at home. Now, as awesomely cool as it would be to see Alba Fire and Isla Dawn win this match in their home country, I don't see it happening. I hate to say it, but I don't see it happening. I think Jade... <coughs> excuse me. Hmm. I think Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair will retain, but... I hope I'm wrong. I, I just think it would be pretty, pretty sweet to see Alba Fire and Isla Dawn win the titles in their home country. I think it would be humongous. But I just don't think they're going to pull that trigger. Especially with Jade Cargill and um, Bianca Belair. Yeah, I. the only time I see them finally like losing those titles is when they're getting ready to split them. Which is coming. Which is coming. It's eventually coming. But it's only a matter of time. But I'm going to say Bianca Belair, Jade Cargill, retain the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. All right. Let's move on to our next match. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have. The Intercontinental Championship on the line as the champion, Sami Zayn, defends against Chad Gable. You know... actually have mixed mixed feelings about this so me and a friend of mine a good friend of mine were talking about this shout out to um, Snorlax and Grooves we were talking about this and he said something that really got me thinking that really got me thinking so two things I could see happening one one of these two things one I think Sami Zayn retains the Intercontinental Championship and everybody else from Alpha Academy, including Otis, finally turns on Chad Gable, puts him in his place, and he falls short. Or, or, this is where Chad Gable finally finally wins the Intercontinental Championship and this is when Otis just completely goes full on heel once again <clears throat> and just fully helps his good friend which like I said in real life they are like best friends and help anchors and even with the help of Maxi Maxi uh, Dupree and uh Akira Tozawa fully supporting this. And they just go all in on helping Chad Gable win the Intercontinental Championship. Just a, in a big swerve. But, personally, I think Sami Zayn's going to retain and I think they're all going to turn on Chad Gable and finally put him in his place. So, I'm sticking with that. Sami Zayn to retain. 
See what I did there? Sami Zayn to retain. Uh, Sami Zayn to retain. All right. <clears throat> All right, let's keep it going. Next match. All righty. <clears throat> we have the WWE Women's Championship on the line. As the champion, Bailey will defend against, of course, in her home country of Scotland, Piper Nevin. Now, I expect Piper Nevin to get the, the home crowd welcome, the home crowd cheer. But, I mean, it is Bailey as well, so I think it might be a little more even. Um, but, to be honest, picking Bailey to retain, I don't see Piper Niven winning. I know she's at home base, but don't think Bailey's going to lose. So, I'm going Bailey to retain, but hopefully it'll be a really good match. Hopefully it'll be a really good match and these ladies will get plenty of time. Okay, um, now, this next match might end up being the main event. I hope it's not, because I think the other, the other match should be the main event, but I got a feeling this might be the main event, but I'm not going to treat it like the main event, because I'm not going to do this one last. So, just the FYI. Next up. <clears throat> We have the undisputed WWE Championship to be defended in an I Quit match. The champ, the <coughs> excuse me, one second. Ah, sorry about that. The champ, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, will defend against the phenomenal A.J. Styles. This is another one that I have mixed feelings about because for this rematch, and it's an I quit match, <clears throat> I'm not really a big fan of this being an I quit match, to be honest with y'all. Because, I mean, for AJ Styles to lose and have to say I quit would really, really hurt his stock. Because I really would love to see AJ Styles get one more title run before he decides to call it quits on his career. Because AJ's getting up there in age. He's been doing this for a long time. <clears throat> but I just, I'm not a fan that this is an I quit match. I'm really not. Because, one, that makes it, to me, that makes it even more obvious that Cody Rhodes is going to gonna retain. Yeah, I just, I hate to say it. Um, I don't know, you know, maybe possibly... The OC will get involved, you know, Gallows and Anderson. But I just, I got a bad feeling AJ Styles is going to lose. He's going to have to utter the words, I quit. And I don't know how he's going to be able to bounce back from this. Because I would love for him to have one final championship run before he calls it quits on a career. But with this being an I quit match, I don't see it happening. So I'm going I'm to have to... Say Cody Rhodes retains. Hate to say it, but just keeping it real. <clears throat> and then finally, what I honestly believe should be the main event for obvious reasons. We have the World Heavyweight Championship as the champion. Judgment Days, Damian Priest, 
will defend against the homegrown Drew McIntyre. So, <clears throat> a couple of things. Well, actually, two things. Two things, one of these two things I could see happening. Number one, I could see clearly Drew McIntyre picking up the victory and becoming the world heavyweight champion in his home of Scotland in front of a live crowd. I mean, I think that's what they could really be going for, especially considering he was not victorious at uh, last year's Cl Clash of the Castle. But the other thing that I think could happen is, and this is a long shot, CM Punk shows up and costs Drew McIntyre the match. I don't think it's going to happen, but it could. It could. Because they still have a score to settle. And CM Punk's pretty much been a thorn in Drew McIntyre's side. And whatnot. But I think option number one is going to happen. I think this is where Drew McIntyre defeats Damian Priest. Becomes World Heavyweight Champion. And I think it ends up topping... The WrestleMania moment. Because he while he did win the title, lost it via the Money in the Bank cash in. Just like that. So I think this is where he finally redeems himself. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, just five matches on this card. But hey, all five matches are championship matches. So that in itself is pretty neat. But yeah. That is your Clash at the Castle, Scotland card. But yeah. So, TNA, against all odds, on Friday. WWE Clash, Clash at the Castle, Scotland, on Saturday. So, two big events to look forward to. But yeah. That'll do it for this video. Um... Don't forget to check out Game Beauty when you get the chance. And uh, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know your predictions as well for both of these shows. TNA Against All Odds, WWE Clash at the Castle Scotland. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell while you're at it. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. For another Pro Wrestling Talk brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the Tube. My name is Jason Ingram. Hope everybody has a blessed upcoming weekend, and I will see y'all in the next video and or live stream. And once again, a happy early Father's Day. Take care. Peace. God bless.